What's up guys? Welcome back to the Drone Camps channel. Today we're going to talk about some fixed wing FPV. If you're interested to fly fixed wing FPV, this plane is a good one to start with. It's around $100. You can put an analog system on here. You can also put HD0, Walk Snail, or now even the DJI 03 on this one. It will support a 2 and 3S battery and should get you over 20 minute flight time. So, I mean, with all of that said, for the money, around $100, that's pretty good per dollar as far as the price point goes. So let's go out and do a flight test with this one with some walk snail. I'm, I'm interested to see how walk snail is going to perform on a fixed wing plane for some FPV enjoyment. So perfect day to fly. It's beautiful. It's sunny and almost not a cloud in the sky, which is kind of crazy for Oregon. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump out there. Let's do some flying. I'll show you some onboard footage. Here we go. Hey guys, I'm Rebecca. You have a chance to win this DJI FPV drone, the case, and two batteries. We're gonna choose one of the next 100,000 subscribers to be our lucky winner. So please subscribe, good luck, and happy FPV. Okay, we're at the field and right now it's looking pretty much perfect for the Zod Drift. It's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and do some flying. Okay, so the first flight test had a few problems. I needed to do some mechanical trim work on the elevator, which I did, and that's all worked out now. Let's go ahead and give it another flight test. So I'm still having some lag with the walk snail avatar system on here, probably a couple hundred yards out. When I get down the bottom of this hill, it really seems to kind of like do a lot of stutter and I'm seeing a lot of red around the edge of the screen. So we're going to go ahead and put it back up with some more adjustments up to 700 milliwatt on this and uh, see how it performs now.
Okay, this one came down this time with a low battery, but this flight was much more enjoyable. And I feel like, you know, the breeze is just probably about 10 miles per hour today, maybe 12 up top, but it still feels like this plane's getting pushed around. And if I went high on the throttle, it seems to have less performance than when I back off the throttle. So this plane likes a lot of low throttle and it could be that that the, uh, the the thrust to, to weight ratio is just a little bit high for the plane on 3S. If you back down to something like 2S, I feel like on a, on a windier day, it's just gonna be a little more chill. So you really don't need all the power on this plane. It's super lightweight and it's a cruiser. That's what it's built for. Running on 2S, something like an 850 milliamp, you'll probably get like, I don't know, man, 20 plus minutes flight time on here and super cheap to run so next time around on this one i think i'm gonna switch it over to probably the dji system maybe put an o3 on here and do some 4k dvr but hopefully you enjoyed the flight and the flight test today guys i'll show you a little bit about this plane on the bench if you want to check it out in the studio now let's go back to the bench so this is the box you can get it pmp or you can get it fpv ready and there it is the zod drift on the bench and again this is a 34 inch wingspan on this plane. It's super small, portable. The tail comes off, the wings come off super easy. It has thumb screws on the wing and on the tail to take apart the whole tail assembly. So if I was gonna travel, I would definitely take this one with me on a cross country trip or say if I was going overseas, super easy fixed wing plane to travel with. And if you look back on the channel, I previously reviewed the white version. That's the first one that came out. And this one simply is the brand new black version. Um, I do like this one. It can accommodate a super tiny micro cam in the front. You can also trim out this front end just kind of by snipping off the very top two pieces with a razor blade. And then once you do that, you can fit a much larger camera in there, something like the DJI 03 or this Walksnail Avatar camera. So if you're a beginner, I, I think one of the best things, and I'm just gonna talk to you like I'm talking to a friend here. We're at the field, we're talking about RC airplanes. Uh, if, if you're going to, to look for your first airplane, especially if you're gonna put FPV on this plane, you want something, number one, cheap, but you also want something that's kind of ready to go and bind up with your radio. It's not super hard to set up the surface controls on here. It's pretty much the same model inside your radio as a quad setup. Uh, and you're gonna have ailerons moving up, down, and you're also gonna have the elevator back there. It has no rudder on this plane, so that makes it a little bit easier. And then you have your throttle in the back, which gives it pretty good balance. I love that the servos are already in there, ready to go on the wings here for the ailerons. Those go to a single, uh, they kind of come over to a single point there to plug into your receiver, as well as the elevator comes through this tail piece right here. And I love that it, this comes off, you just twist that, and this comes all the way out. Um, and it also has a locking mechanism here. And then you're gonna kind of make, make sure that locks and then twist that down and your tail is back on. I also love that it's carbon fiber. This is a carbon fiber tail boom, kind of mimicking like the much larger FPV planes. Power in the drift, we've got a Zod branded motor and this one's a 1408 2600 kV and they kept it kind of low kV to make it fly longer. If it was a super high KV, like a say an FPV race drone type of KV, it's you know around the 4000 series motors, it's gonna be too high KV, it's gonna draw too many amps out of the battery. Therefore, kind of giving you kind of high performance, but not giving you a long battery runtime. This pod in the back also is really beginner friendly because when you land, the prop's not gonna be in the grass and it's gonna be up off the ground away from your hands as well when you go to toss this plane. So it makes it kind of much more user friendly and just flies a lot easier than if you were trying to fly, say something like an FPV wing for your first FPV plane. Right in the middle is where I mounted my receiver. It's just coming down through the bottom of the wing here. Just put a piece of wing tape over it. It's simply a threaded packing tape. You wanna use that a lot of times to make sure things stay put when you're flying fixed wing. And most people really do love this because of all the access inside the fuselage. And it's really cool that we have all these platforms that we can use in here that are already mounted, already glued in place. My 20 amp ESC is also in there and that supports up to 3S. It's kind of nice that they used a 20 amp ESC and that's held on by a magnet. I just put these two back on the side here. I like to have my antennas kind of facing down toward the radio. You've got some air flow through the side and the front underneath the camera and through here as well and coming out the back of this spot right here. 
So again, yeah, this this version is pretty much a black version. I, I think it looks way cooler than the white one. Um, I just like a dark colored FPV plane. I, I love the way it looks. Um, but my final comments on this plane is that it's cheap, it's easy to set up, it has a ton of options, and people out there on the internet really love this plane on the Facebook groups um, and in RC groups, uh, in our Discord server. If you want to learn more about long range FPV, definitely jump in there because the guys are talking about that 24 seven. But I also felt like my Walksnail goggles, they didn't really perform quite as well as I wanted them to. Even on 700 milliwatt, I was getting like red screen, um, kind of bad signal coming back from my antenna. And I'm not sure why, uh, maybe it was a spot I was flying, but it was a perfect day to be flying FPV. So if you're gonna put a system on there, I highly suggest the DJI 03, or maybe the Cadex Vista, um, or an analog 700 milliwatt system. And if you're gonna run it on 2S, stick to that two blade prop for 2S, not 3S. It's just gonna give you too much throttle because uh, it has a, quite a thick cord on that prop. And if you're gonna run 3S, prop down and go with this three blade prop. Just remember the three blade prop goes with 3S, two blade with 2S, and you'll be good to go with this plane. But if you wanna grab one of these, you can check it out in the link down below. And if you want more information on this plane, hop in our Discord, I'll put the link down there, and you can ask the guys in there what they think about their drift, because I know a few of you guys have one of these. So if you have one, make some comments down below. And uh, my next flight on this plane, I'm definitely gonna put some DJI 03 on there. I'm, 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 I'm switching over. So um, that's my two cents on this plane. I love the way it looks, and it's a fun flying plane, and it's stupid cheap. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Take care.